Ladies and gentlemen, keep from Air Repair Autos. My Mercedes ML350 broke down on the road again. This time, my daughter was driving it just like before and uh, the complaint is that the steering wheel became very hard to turn. So I'm immediately thinking power steering pump or also maybe a serpentine belt which controls the pump. So I'm gonna troubleshoot that. All right, taking a quick peek in there. Make sure that the power steering pump. Oh my God, look, it's the belt. The cable is gone, but I'm gonna still inspect the pump because the pump could have seized up, causing Just in here, spinning stuff, guys. Alternator. Everything seems to be good. I was under the impression that the power steering pump was bad, so I bought a new power steering pump, fluid, all that good stuff. I may go over the power steering pump in a minute, show you the pieces, but it's the serpentine belt. So I went to Mercedes ahead of time and grabbed power steering pump because I just figured you know the power steering pump is gone based off of what my daughter told me on the road pull that out so this is the power steering pump right here it's the updated power steering pump part number right there 0054662201 and um, this is the updated pump okay this is the uh, section where the C-clamp goes on to. A lot of people have difficulty connecting the reservoir. This is where it goes down to the uh, rack and pinion system. Keep that plugged up just to keep stuff from getting in there. So this is the pump. And uh, these are rebuildable. Mercedes wants me to bring back the used one. Here's a C-clamp that connects the reservoir to the pump, power steering oil, two quarts of that. Here's the updated reservoir, everybody. See how it looks at the back. And the C-clamp goes into that little notch right there. A lot of people complain about that. Has a filter that's built in. You can't replace the filter. Part number is Alpha 00046025833. So seeing that it's the uh, serpentine belt and not the post air and pump, as I had originally suspected, I'm tempted to just return everything. I can uh, return everything if I haven't installed it. And put about $500 back in my pocket. I'm um, tempted to just do it, do the video so that everybody can see how uh, it's done. But at the same time, hmm, let me know down in the comments below if I should just bite the bullet, take the hit, 500 bucks and do the video. I was under the impression that the power steering pump had died and if I had taken it to a Mercedes dealership or any mechanic and told them, hey, my power steering pump needs changing, if they weren't honest, a lot of them will just take your word for it, see the serpentine belt needs changing, change that. They may even change the pump and charge you for it, even though it doesn't need to be changed. The real shady ones would just change the uh, serpentine belt and charge you for the whole job now that job power steering pump power steering reservoir replacement flush of the fluid and all that that's gonna rack up 
over two grand at the dealership. So you could be out two grand just because of a misdiagnosis on your part. You know, you give them the symptoms, my power steering, uh, my steering wheel is very hard to turn. They can hit you hard. I almost got hit and I'm doing the job myself. I went and bought all those parts. And then I said, you know what, let me check the serpentine belt. I doubt it was a serpentine belt. It was recently changed, but it is. So keep that in mind. Never tell a mechanic what you think the problem is. They may run with that. They may even go down that hole and do that, thinking that, you know, if you've checked it out and then you eat the cost. Keep that in mind. So I'm quickly showing you how to change the serpentine belt for a more detailed video that I have. It's down in the description. It's also up in the top right section of the screen. Basically, there is a layout that you put your serpentine belt in. You put your 17 millimeter socket on it to release the tension off of the tensioner, and then you put your belt on. Detailed video in the description and above. As always, everyone, don't forget to like, share, subscribe to my channel if you find these videos helpful. What that does, it pushes my videos up in the search results so that other Mercedes owners, drivers, do-it-yourselfers can find them easier. Thanks and peace out.